here it's Liz Yule from Old Staples Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today. I am a UK independent stamping up demonstrator and I am doing a little bit of a get it before you miss it celebration roundup. Um, now, uh, Beautiful Peacock, probably one of the most popular stamp sets that we have had during celebration. You can get this free with a £45 order. That's before postage and packing. Um, so I know there have been lots and lots of samples doing the rounds. I'm going to be doing something slightly scary uh, because I haven't prepped and I've just realized I haven't even thought about what color card base I'm going to use. Oh, that, can, that, that will work. Right. So um, this is going to be a bit of a mm, hopefully it'll work project. Um, I am using brushos. Uh, Brushos Live is pretty scary, um, certainly if you're where I am, um, but you know what, we're going to make it work. So, watercolour cardstock, um, there is a vague, slight difference between the two sides, but it is very slight. Now, because it's watercolour cardstock, everyone will say use archival um, ink, uh, most people use black. I actually quite like the grey, um, so I've got my um, peacock and I'm just going to ink that up really well because on watercolour cardstock um, it's not that straightforward and simple to get a good impression. So you do need to give it a really good press and give it a chance to sink in and, and if you're really lucky you can over ink it and um, right turn it over okay uh, I managed to over ink this bit in the middle so I will learn from my mistakes and grab a piece of kitchen paper just in case I do it again so I'm just going to get my kitchen paper into a point and just wipe that middle bit right okay and hold it there it's just as well well that um, watercolor paper has two sides really, isn't it there we are super so you see I think that's just a nicer softer image um, I am going to clean my stamp quickly, purely because the archival does stain your stamps. Although having said that, my stamp set is pretty well stained anyway. Um, so I don't know why I'm bothering. Um, but hey, there we go. Um, it is much loved. So that's that. Now, um, I am going to at some point add the tail, but I'm going to do that after we've done the brushos. But I did want to know where, where the peacock was going to be. Um, so I'm going to bring in my, I hope that doesn't reflect too badly, um, but I am going to bring in my foil container because then it does help contain where the brushos go. Sleeves up, gloves on. And ooh, trying to get two fingers down one finger hole. It's not a clever idea. I have got um, an old stamping mist bottle um, and I filled it with water. I know I have because I've put a label on it. So there are two ways. Well, there are lots of ways of doing brushes. You can use things like spray starch. That takes quite a long time. It's a great technique, however. Um, and I'm sure I, if I haven't already covered it, I think I have. Uh, but I will be doing some more brush show um, videos after the end of celebration. Um, brush shows come in five colours. Um, we've got Prussian blue, yellow, uh, brilliant red, gamboge, and this is moss green. It's just the labels come off. Do not, unless you really, really want to, unzip the lids because the powder gets everywhere and you don't need very much. So my strong recommendation is to not. Um, now, you can either put the brushes on the dry surface and then spray, or you can put um, water down first and then add more. I'm going to spray first 
and it's always worth spraying both sides because there is more of a chance of it actually sitting flat if you do that. So I'm going to start, because it's a peacock, with some blue, some of our Prussian blue, and I'm just going to pop that at the top, round our peacock, and you can just begin to see that it's going. And then I'm going to bring in some yellow because I will be adding a tail in crushed curry because I can. Oh, look at that blue goat! Stunning! I, I just love these. I, I can't get enough of them. So that's the yellow. I'm actually going to come in with some gamboge as well, which is just that slightly bit darker. And I think I'll probably leave it at that for the moment. But you can get some amazing effects with um, adding, as I say, starch. You can use shaving foam. You can add salt. You can use alcohol. All sorts. So I'm going to kind of get that to move about a bit. And you can also, so with my piece of kitchen paper, because it's quite blue up at the top, you can dab off some of the colour and then add some more water. It is basically just powdered watercolour. Um, so it's just it does these amazing bursts. Stunning. Right. Even though I say so, who shouldn't? And if I, I can get that to run a bit. Lovely! Right, I need a new piece of kitchen paper. Because that one's very blue. So I'm going to just blot that right over the top. And try and get this out. It'd be novel, wouldn't it? So it's now all just damp rather than wet. Uh, I'll get some, get rid of that. Get some more kitchen paper, leave you with a really dull vision of just my work board. How fun is that? Right. Okay. I love it. Oh, sorry, it doesn't take much to make me happy, does it? Okay, so. That obviously is going to need to dry, and as you know, I don't edit my videos, so I'm going to just wipe out the excess from my foil tray and bring that back in the wrong way up, um, and my heat gun. And I'm doing it the wrong way up so I don't actually burn through to my work surface. the noise. Right, gloves off. And then we can finish our card. gloves off. Right. Okay, so that is more or less dry. If I wasn't doing this live, as it were, um, I would leave that to dry a little longer. Right, I am actually going to do really scary stuff and, oops, re-stamp my peacock so that he's a little more obvious. I still want him in the grey, I think. Um, or shall I go in with the black? No, I do like the grey. Oh, 
Although, ooh, 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 I've just had a thought. Right, change of plan. Um, excuse me while I just stamp that off on a piece of scrap paper. Right, change of plan. And Knight of Navy. Because it's now dry, we can add watercolour ink. <gasps> now, this is going to be slightly fun because I've got to try and line him up. Fingers crossed. More or less. And actually, I quite like the shadow. So there he is, very much more obvious. Um, so that's good. So in fact, you could probably cut that bit and just, so long as you know your peacock's going up there, just wait until afterwards to stamp. Um, I've got the sort of fluffy, fluffy tail and crushed curry. And I'm just going to add a crushed curry tail to our peacock. And then there are these funny dotty things, which I have to say I've not really worked out what they're for. Do they go there? They maybe go here. I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to add them there. So I just need another block. And I think some pom 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 terracotta. Oh, actually, no. Tangerine tango. Just to add some pizzazz. And then I think what we need is, don't you love me running around the room trying to find things? Some, in fact, we'll put the card together and then I'll add the bits that I think I want. Right, so I have got here a crushed curry card mat. Well, I'm going to try tangerine tango as well and just see whether that, whether I prefer tangerine tango. But I want it on the Knight of Navy. <sighs> which do you prefer? I think I'm going to go for the Tangerine Tango, which is sort of counterintuitive, but hey, there we go. Right, okay, so let's fold that in half. This is a standard A6 card base, so it's an A4 piece of card cut in half, scored in the middle. I am going to use um, multi-purpose adhesive because I need to get this to stick flat. Uh, you could use lots of fast fuse, but this gives me a bit more wiggle room. And um, as the card is, the watercolour paper is not 100% dry still, it's not far off, but it's not 100%. Um, I think I've got a better chance of getting it all to stay flat if I use multi-purpose adhesive which I'm also going to use on the back of this where are we time wise 14 minutes well, that's not too bad bearing in mind it's a brush -o project And turn that over and rub from the back. Um, I'm just going to pop that under my board whilst I grab a white, white or cream. Hmm, harumph. There's a choice because it's, I think, possibly the cream. It's a difficult one, isn't it? I'm going to go with cream. I haven't used cream for a long time, so very vanilla. And I'm just going to grab, today is all about you, and my little G block, 
to like my little G block. Oops. And oh, let's go for the tangerine tango and make it mint. So today is all about you. There we go. And grab this from under my board. Now some snail. Oop. And pop this in here. And then what I want is some rhinestones. Um, got some little ones as well. These are old. We don't do the strips anymore. They're the same size as the current ones, apart from that, which so isn't, because um, it's not a rhinestone. Um, so, yes, you just don't get strips now. You get just more of the of the individual. Um, which I don't need that one, do I? More of the individual... Um, rhinestones. So I just want to add some bling because I can. And some bigger bling just there. And on his crown. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I think it's just so fun. I love brushes. They're brilliant. Um, anyway, don't forget that you've only got until the 31st of March to get your celebration items. It's also the end of the join offer. So um, the normal offer of £130 of product for £99, including free postage and packing, is always there. And it's always a brilliant deal. Um, and obviously, I would love anyone to join my team. However, until the end of March, so until the end of celebration, if you join up to my join my team, you get, in addition to the £130 of product of your choice, you get to pick two um, stamp sets from either the annual catalogue or the spring summer catalogue. Um, you can get anything off the clearance rack as well, but hey, why would you? Um, why wouldn't you buy, you know, the most expensive stamp set that your heart desires? And if you do buy the most expensive stamp sets in the catalogue, um, it takes the total up to somewhere around £200. I think it's just over £200, all for £99, shipped direct to your door. Then you get 20% off your future purchases until certainly the end of June, which means the new catalogue, which you get to buy from. Um, normally from the annual catalogue, it's selected items, but you get to order... A month early for 20% off um, so do bear that in mind if you've got a large order you may want to join um, and become a demonstrator you don't have to sell you don't have to run workshops you don't have to do YouTube videos uh, between 80 and 85 percent of all stamping up demonstrators are their own clients customers and that's all they do is buy for themselves so you would be in very good company anyway Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. All the details are in my on my blog post, which is linked immediately below. And then below that, you'll find a link to all my social media. Um, so if you want to find me anywhere like Pinterest, um, that's the way to find me. Thank you very much indeed, and I'll see you again soon.